Hey y'all, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. Don't jump down my throat. I know I did not review last week's, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Didn't y'all see? Did y'all see my review from like the, like two weeks ago? I'm so fed up with this show, y'all. I'm so fed up with this show. Like I don't even have like I barely have the energy to even watch it. Okay, it's two hours, way too long. I go on these same rants every single time. But I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really been doing these reviews, or I didn't do last week's because I didn't care enough. I barely wanted to do this week's but you know what i watched it and i got a little bit of tidbit so we're gonna keep going no i am not really gonna talk about what happened last um episode because to be quite honest i don't care we're gonna go to this episode i might touch on a few things but that's about it so who are we gonna start with yo who are we gonna start with we're gonna just start with i guess least to most whatever okay Jessica and Austin, Jessica and Austin, they're doing cool. Everything's cool. The only issues that they're having right now is the fact that, number one, he might have to... Let me take my damn bonnet off. Is that, number one, he might... He's going to have to, like, be traveling a lot and stuff like that for work. He's going to have to be gone, I think, two, like, half of the month, pretty much. He's going to have to be gone. So that's that. And then, also, their main issue right now is the whole emphasis on love. So she pretty much loves him but he don't feel like he can say it yet so that's pretty much where they are i just don't know if i had a scrunchie so that's that who else we gotta deal with next my gosh i told y'all last review that i wasn't giving katie and Derek no shine because katie got on my nerves katie you're at it again she just wants to complain so much okay first of all we're gonna take it back i said i wasn't gonna talk about last week but let's take it back to last week for a second when they was having a little you know talk sitting down talking to each other with the therapist she really sat up there and said that she had an issue with the fact that he had dreams and the fact that she didn't believe in his dreams and that he wasn't being realistic quote unquote i could understand the realistic part but she really pretty much said that she don't believe in his dreams and she don't think that she ever will that's probably one of the most fucked up and selfish things that you could ever say specifically with somebody that you're trying to be in a relationship in are you serious kid like that just really made me look at her like okay so I, I see the type that you are but then i guess they talked about it in therapy and i guess they said that the reason why is because you know when she was a little girl all of her dreams had to get put on pause because of you know her having diabetes and stuff but still you don't shit on somebody else's dream and then they go to what is it Derek's old house or something to go through all of his stuff why was she catching an attitude why she literally had an attitude with him because he read because she read a poem that he had wrote when he was in ninth grade and it was a it was a very nice poem and she's like what 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 what? there's no way in the world you can write that but you don't feel that yo it just really that that whole scene right there proves to me outside of her being the jealous being jealous about the whole thing with the girl and the nice day i don't give a fuck about that katie wants a reason to be mad that's all to show me and that she's extremely extremely immature extremely immature and i don't got time for nobody like katie she gets on my nerves i have a fat toothache and she's making me go the fuck off even more what the hell is her what is her problem katie why do you want to find an issue with this man you seriously said that there is no way he could have wrote that and never felt it have you lost your red ain't she redhead have you lost your freckled face mind there we go have you lost your freckled face mind how many songs michael jackson for example when he was in the jackson five he stood out because it's like how is it this little kid this singer with such emotion emotions that he never even fucking been through are you dumb in the words of Remy Ma, are you dumb? So I'm tired of talking about Katie. And I swear, I'm not talking about Katie no more. And I see next week when they go on a little vacation that she's going to try to come at Derek again because she's jealous and think that he's trying to talk to Taylor. I'm not talking about Katie no more. Derek, you deserve better. I'm not talking about Katie no more. Not unless Derek is telling her, girl, get out of my life. I'm not talking about her no more. Not until she fixes her attitude. She pisses me smooth the fuck off, okay? And I didn't even want to give her that much of my fucking time. So that's that, okay? Who else we got next? 
Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I did write notes and everything, but my laptop died and I'm aggravated. I don't even care. So I'm just going off the top of the dome. Okay. <sighs> we did that. We did that. Let me see. Who should I go to next? Brandon and Taylor. Okay, I'm going to do them next. Brandon and Taylor. So, Brandon and Taylor, I guess at their little recommitment, I didn't even really watch them last week. I don't know. I guess they said that they're going to be friends or whatever. Then we get to this week, you know, they're having dinner. It's cute. They talk about whatever, and he's still trying to let down his guard from her. Now, let me tell you this, Taylor. I'm going to tell you this. And I know I shouldn't be talking too much because right now my hair is like a mess right now. But look, but it, it's a mess. It's, it's a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit of a mess. I need to like get like a washing set to be quite honest. But, but let me tell you this. Let me tell you this though. Taylor, just because you, you could comb it out, you could wash it, you could use, you could use this, you could use, you could use that. You can use this. You can use that. You can use all, all of these things, all of these products. You can use on your wig. But if the wig is not applied correctly, none of it matters. It doesn't matter. It does not matter, Taylor. If none of it is applied correctly, I'm so tired of this wig. Why does the part of your wig start all the way back here? Your, your hairline is up here, but your wig starts here. And I don't understand it. I don't get it. I appreciate the fact that whatever, you know, she 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 went and she got it silky smooth and pressed. Whatever she got, she took it to the laundry. I'm happy for her. But girl, get it applied. It, it, it's just like when it comes to a lace front. I'm sorry to go off on a tangent here. But it's just like a lace front. Like, a lace front, could, you could pay $500 for a lace front. But if it's not applied correctly, it doesn't fucking matter. And I'm so tired of her wig not being applied correctly. It's thoroughly pissing me off, okay? Then, I got all this oil all over my damn desk now because she pissed me off, okay? So, you know, they, they end up, they talk, and I guess everything is fine. Kumbaya with them. Well, what the fuck ever. Let's get to what we need to get to. So, let's talk about Mike and Mika for a second. All right. So, apparently, when Mike and Mika had the little recommitment or whatever, you know, she said he she needs him to be honest. She needs him to be honest. So, I didn't really watch this scene fully through because I was working. But, apparently, I guess she was asking him about, like, the salary and stuff that he was going to be making. And either he didn't write the number down or he wrote the number down and then changed the number again whatever it is the number was bullshit okay it was bullshit so Mika at that point just got pissed off and she walked up the room and was like I'm not gonna keep dealing with this because at the end of the day I asked him to be honest and if you can't even be honest with me then what's the problem so the producer saying to Mike like why don't you just write down the number oh I did I did I did Mike you making me look real bad right now. I won't say you making me look bad because you make yourself look bad. But I did. I definitely defended you really hard the last couple episodes because I didn't understand. I'm going to be honest. The reason why I was defending you is because I didn't understand what Mika was talking about. I didn't know what she was talking about that you were lying about other than the very first incident that y'all had. Outside of that, I didn't know what else she was talking about. But... Now that this whole situation has played out, I can understand why Mika feels the way that she does. And I would be the same way. Like, how am I supposed to be with somebody who you can't even tell me the truth about something fucking simple? Like, how much it is that you freaking make? So, I could understand that. So, then, you know, they... I think Dr. Viviana came over or whatever. And, you know, she was pretty much, you know, asking you know what's going on with them and you know she told Mika told her you know about the whole line about the salary and he tried to say oh it's not a black and white thing and so Dr. Rihanna's like so what's the issue okay and Michael pretty much says you know that he that there was a huge difference between what it was that he was going to be making now see I did say I said this when I went off on Mika when she was snapping on him about the about the job I did say this. I said, now, I can understand her being mad if there was a huge difference in pay between the job that he had before and then the job he had now. If if that was the case, I could understand her being mad. He never said that. He lied. See? He lied to us, too, as the audience. He lied and said that he made about the same amount when that was not true at all. And then, you know, so, they, so she's asking him, you know, like, why do you think this is? And he brings up, you know, the fact that he's adopted. Now, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this. Do I think that Michael uses 
his adoption slash lack of a mother as a crutch in a lot of these situations when it comes to him and Mika. He get, he's up against the wall. Absolutely. Do I think, though, however, that what he is saying is true, though? Yes, I think both can both can exist in the same world. I do think that to a degree, it seems like when he when he get backed into a corner, that that's what he wants to bring up is being adopted. However, at the same time, your childhood is very connected to how it is that you are as an, an as an adult. So, yes, it yes yes him being adopted and the shit that he had to go through as a child it does affect how he acts now as an adult and specifically in a relationship so yes and no so he pretty much tried to say you know that when he was growing up he would you know make up to like his friends and stuff like that pretty much like his life you know because he didn't want everybody to know what he was really going through so because of that he just kind of took that with him as he got older he just created a narrative that pretty much made him look a certain way um but to sum it all up what mika said is facts she said at the end, she said, he is not happy with himself. And because of that, that will, that, that's pretty much what she said, period. And that, that's, that's what, that's what Michael's problem is. I've been trying to put my finger on it and I do also had a little bit to do with self-consciousness, but that's what it is. He don't want to be embarrassed because he even said it. He said it was embarrassment. Why she, why he didn't say what it was that he made. Michael is unhappy with himself. Okay, and because he's unhappy with himself, he will do any and everything to try to make it seem like he's the picture perfect, whatever it is, whether it's a friend, a husband, a man, it doesn't matter. He's going to try to make himself seem like that. So when Miko went out to eat, you know, with his older sister, at first, I was like, I, at first, when she was telling, talking to the sister about it, you could tell that the sister didn't really want to go in too much because at the end of the day that is her brother like regardless of whatever it is we're still on tv and that's my brother and i'm never gonna sit on national tv and dog my brother and be like oh yeah he's a liar this is i'm not doing that so i understood why to a degree why she was like well maybe to you it's lying but to him it's exaggerating but it's still lying though girl i get what you're saying but it's still lying but she did eventually you know pretty much say like you know growing up he was always the oddball out and i can tell that about michael just by his whole demeanor just, just everything about him i could tell that when he was a kid he wasn't the most popular person and she says you know because of that he pretty much makes things up because he feels like nobody's going to accept him for who the real him is so she said so what, what his sister said made, made perfect sense he was like so if you can be like that as like a friend you know you do that to friends when it comes to a wife oh you're definitely about to put on your ears of oh yes i'm perfect i'm this i'm that i'm the third da, 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 da. and that's not the case at all so, Michael, you do have to work on that. And I think that that starts with your self-esteem. You really got to work on that. I will give Mika the fact that she is really trying and she's giving this man as much as that she can give him. So, that's I, that's one thing I could give Mika. Mika is very understanding throughout this whole process. Because, girl, I could understand you being so fed up with that man lying. I, I could get it. I get it. I get it. <sighs> Finally. Zach motherfucking well mindy and motherfucking zach how about we do it that way you know i'm very very happy to see this whole saga come to an end because i really didn't know next to zach and mindy and then brand and then taylor and brandon are the two couples that i'm just like but i don't feel like keep doing the circle over and over and over with y'all okay so I guess I didn't watch the recommitment thing. I barely watched the last episode. But all I know apparently is that, you know, she told him that she would forgive him, you know, and they would try to move forward with the honesty and transparency and all this other stuff. So, Mindy goes off to eat with her friends. I'm, I'm eating applesauce, y'all, sorry. Um, Mindy goes off with her friends. And, you know, she's talking to them about everything that's going on. Her friends, of course, is like, girl, why are you still there? Why are you still dealing with this man? He's a dumbass. And so, you know, she's telling them, you know, how she's been, um how everything's been going a little bit better because he moved into the house finally, but he's not in the same room as her, but everything's going good. Check this shit out. So, apparently, the big secret that he was making such a big deal about, because they, now, now this happened technically like when they wasn't like filming, filming, but there's cameras in the house. She asked him what was the secret. He said that somebody told him that her ex-boyfriend like that that her ex-boyfriend was supposed to pick her up from the airport i guess whenever she got back or something like that from the trip and she said 
no he wanted to come and pick me up but i never said that he was going to come pick me up and the point of the matter is if, if that's what was bothering you number one zach that's not a big fucking deal that's how i knew i knew that zach. zach is a liar zach is a liar and he's a fraud and he's a fucking perpetrator i knew for a fact that whatever secret it was it wasn't no real secret i knew it wasn't he just needed a reason to try to make her look bad to make himself look better he needed a reason to have an out that's what that was point blank period so then you know, so she's like, well, who told you that? Like, and he says, off top, when he said it, I'm like, Lindsay told him. Like, clearly Lindsay told him. But he's like, oh, well, a friend of mine that knows him told me. She said, are you sure about that? Yeah. So when her friend is sitting there listening, her friend sitting across from her saying, you know what? I'm putting the pieces together. And I'm that friend because there'll be times where I'll be like, bitch, A plus D. D minus D. Oh, bitch, I figured out the formula. And that and that's exactly what I remember. She said, I know how he found out. She's like, how? You told me about the whole situation with your boyfriend, and I came and picked you up. I told that to Lindsay. And she said, oh. She said, so let me get this right. Lindsay was the one pretty much who told him. Of course, Lindsay. She's like, I straight up and down asked him, and he said no. He's trying to protect Lindsay at all costs. Once this is all said and done, he's going to try to be with Lindsay. They're going to try to be together. That's why he's doing everything in his power to protect her because he wants to be with her and she wants to be with him. And she said, that's a trash ass friend. So, Mindy, like the boss bitch that she is, I'm so proud of Mindy. I'm so fucking proud of her. Zach brought his, his oompa loompa doompity doom. Well, he, he's actually in a really good chair. But he brought his ass up in there. If Brad Pitt want to be looking like. He ain't even close to being as fine as Brad Pitt. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Wanna be model come up in there sitting down talking about something. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. You know, we had a grand week. We had a great week. And you know, cheers, cheers, cheers to us having a good time. And she said, I can't really cheers to that. And she proceeded to ask him pretty much, so you lied to me again. You didn't find that out from a friend. Lindsay told you that. Why do you ain't feeling me to tell me that? He couldn't even come up with a damn answer. He couldn't even come up with a damn answer because he knew he was fucking wrong. And he's like, oh, I should have just never brought that up. This, this, that, and the third. I just should have never did that. And I've been having a good time with you and blah, 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 blah. And Mindy, I was so glad. I was so glad that she did this because I was really hoping that she wasn't going to, you know, succumb to this man. I think she's over. I, I, no, I knew that she was over at this point. And she told that man... I do not want to be in this marriage no more. You need to get your shit. Get the fuck out of this house. Because at the end of the day, you felt the need to carry on a whole relationship with one of my friends and not tell me. And for some reason, you feel the need to protect her so badly. Meaning you're not really my husband for real. Because you feel the need to protect another bitch more than me. I was so happy when she told him to get his shit and leave. And that's exactly what he did. He got his shit and he fucking left. Thank goodness. So that that that's done, okay? Dr. Viviana came over. This is the best part though, y'all. Hold on. Best part is Dr. Viviana. She come over. She talking to Mindy. She like, what's going on? Mindy told her what happened. But Mindy first said, man, I told him, you know, I told him I didn't want to be with him. Miss Vivi Dr. Viviana said, I don't want to smile. But you can tell Dr. Viviana was so happy for her because at the end of the day, she's like, you know, we do our best to put y'all together, but he was doing some real foul shit and I'm here for Dr. Viviana because I could tell that she was really happy for her to be like, you stood up for yourself. And that's one thing I can give Mindy. Mindy, you put up with a lot of shit, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Like you said, this situation is going to make you so much stronger because you coming into this situation you were not a very strong person you let zach pretty much do whatever it is that he wanted and i'm glad that you finally put your foot down so now going forward in any relationship that you're gonna be in you gonna know there's only gonna be but so much that you're gonna take and you're not here for this shit i'm so 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 fucking happy for you Mindy. i'm so glad i am so glad that you are rid of this man i could i could kiss you i'm so happy for you i'm so happy for you Okay, I do feel bad about the whole thing, you know, with the family and the family's gonna be with the, oh, I told you so, but you know what, I'm, but you wanna know what, girl? Fuck your family. Fuck your fucking family, okay? They still did that wrong. Whether or not they was right or they was wrong, it doesn't matter. Still fuck them because they should have supported you regardless of the situation. So, that's that, okay? Finally, Dr. Viviana goes over to Zach's house, okay? <sighs> Sits down with him and she's like, 
what's going on? As Zach normally does, he's talking in a circle, talking about, oh, Potty had such a good week. Dr. Brianna stopped him. I'm so here for her. She stopped him. She said, why are you doing all of this? Aren't you and Mindy not together anymore? Oh, I mean, no, no, no. We're no longer together. So why didn't you just say that? Like, Dr. Viviana was over him this whole scene, and I was here for it because she's me. She was like, so why did you lie to her? Oh, I didn't lie to her. You could tell that really caught me. She was like, it's kind of like when Dr. Kyle <laughs> was talking to um, Zach the first time. He, she was just like, Okay, well, that's not what Mindy said. Because Mindy said that you was having a whole friendship relationship with her friend. I mean, yeah, I was. So that's not like, no, I wouldn't say I lied to her. I didn't bring it up. That's a, that's that, that's an, an omission. Wait, what is that? A lie of omission? Some shit like that. That's what that is. So it is what it is, boy. You didn't you didn't tell her. That's something that she should know. And so Dr. Viviana was just saying, Dr. Viviana was so confused. She was just like, so, so, so. So you didn't lie to her. So pretty much Dr. Romeo was thoroughly confused like the rest of us. She was thoroughly looking at him like, I'm so confused as to what world you're living in. And like she said to him pretty much before she, it went off or whatever to the next scene, I wish the loyalty that you felt to Lindsay, you felt for your wife. I really do. I ain't got nothing more for this for this show. I'm going to do my best. I will try to review it next week. But I'm so over the show. But y'all give me y'all comments. Tell me what y'all think. Come on, bruh.